All right, <clears throat> Elliot, I hear that you got a new bicycle and you want to learn how to fix things up on that bicycle. Well, I'll walk you through quickly what you need to look for so you know what parts to purchase and what work might need to be done to a bicycle. I was explaining to your mom that when I do an inspection on a bike to see what it needs, I usually work top to bottom and then from the front to the back uh, just so I keep track of all the things that I need to check. So up here around the handlebars you're gonna have your shifter um, and you think I think have one and yours is a twist shifter um, what they call a grip shift still works the very same way you want to uh, just click through the shift the gears on your shifter and count the clicks if you have six gears in back, you should have five clicks. If you have seven gears in back, you should have six clicks. And if you have eight gears in back, you should have seven clicks. If that works, if you hear the clicking, that's good news. If you don't hear the clicking or the, it's really tough to get the shifter to shift, you may need a new shifter. They're not expensive though. So I see that the cable on your shifter has uh, come off um, and that just tells me that you probably need a new shifter cable and housing. The shifter cable is not the same as the brake cable. The shifter cable and the housing are, to are totally different than the brake cable. So the brakes themselves. So. The way this works, when you're sitting on the bike, your left hand should work the front brake. So I think you can see both of those in the picture. You'll see that they're moving here, and these brakes actually need some adjustment here. But regardless, if you move the brake, you should it should feel smooth. There shouldn't it shouldn't feel like the cable is either uh, has like grit in it or sand in it or is um, catching on anything it should move smoothly and just looking at the pictures uh, you've got some rust and things on the cable but I don't know if you can see that there's a good bit of rust on this cable too and it still moves smoothly so the rust itself does not necessarily mean that you need to, to change a brake cable it's how it feels when you are, are working the brake so the next thing that I like to do is I like to check the bearings that go on the fork here and you can see there's something that looks like a, uh, a nut right here and then there are bearings inside of here and here there's also a nut on this bearing here and the way that this works together is this is how you adjust the tightness of your forks this is just a lock nut this is used to make sure that this nut does not come loose so I like to then hold down the uh, front brake and then I like to push forward on the bike and I don't know if you can see that the bike is moving kind of going the tires going down there but if there's any movement in here you'll feel it moving just slightly back and forth <clears throat> then it's too loose and it needs to be tightened and that is called <clears throat> again this is called the headset <coughs> pardon me good grief it may be too tight and the way you can tell that is just pick up the bike and you see how these handlebars immediately move to the left if you just lean the bike a little bit when the headset is adjusted properly it's it won't be loose but when you pick up the bike the handlebars will move to the right or to the left immediately that's when you know you got it right then moving on back here again we're working top to bottom left left or front to back the next thing I want to check is are my wheels here properly adjusted the same check will work for the rear tire and all I'm gonna do is stand the bike up straight I'm gonna grab the wheel here and I'm gonna wiggle it back and forth so I'm wiggling it from side to side here so and as I do that I shouldn't have any movement it should not go back and forth at all if it does go back and forth, then you'll need to adjust the cones, the bearing cones on your wheel. If it doesn't wiggle back and forth, it may be too tight. And to test if it's too tight, all you gotta do is pick the bike up. There's gonna be a little 
a little disorienting for half a minute. But if you spin it, it should spin very freely. And then when it stops, you'll see it stop and it should go backwards just a little bit. So that is a wheel that's in good adjustment. The same check can be used for the back wheel. Now, the other thing to check for is your front brakes here. If you spin the wheel, you want to make sure, just watch the wheel right here next to the brakes. It's easy to get to get distracted by the tire, but you want to see if this shiny metal part stays the same distance from the brake. That is, it's not bent or wobbling in, in, in any way. So, pick the bike up, spin that wheel, and I'm just going to watch right in here. And you can see that there's no rubbing, there's no wobbling. So the rim is not bent, the rim is in good shape. And then I was saying that there's something that's not quite right with the brakes, because if you watch this, the brakes should move together, and you can see that one starts moving before the other. It That's probably just means that the wheel here needs to be moved over this way. It needs to be centered, and then those brakes will work fine. But again, those brakes should work, should not, um, you should not feel any grinding or any catching. And again, looking at the bike that you got, they look uh, to be a little rusty. So you probably just need to replace the brake cable. I don't can't see your your brake shoes here to tell you if the brake pads to see tell you if you need to replace those or not. Um, but not a bad idea to have a couple of extras on hand anyway. The only the only thing more important than having a bike that goes is having a bike that stops. All right, so all that being done, the seat height, the seat and the seat height. This one's fairly easy. All I like to do is to loosen the seat up here. You may not have a quick release, you may have a bolt, but pull the seat out, wipe it down with a clean cloth, put some new grease on it, wipe down inside the seat tube here, and put some new grease on that, and then put the seat in there. You don't need a lot of grease. It's a very, very light film of grease. Your mom would be able to help you out with that one. It's like when you're baking cookies and you just lightly butter um, the uh, cookie sheet. It's the same type of thing. You don't want a lot of grease on there. Checking the rear brakes is the same as checking the front brakes. Checking the rear rim is the same as checking the front rim. Checking the, the uh, rear hub is the same as checking the front hub. The rear, though, has all of these gears. And I noticed that your chain, your gears are a little rusty. So there is a special tool for removing the chain. And what I like to do with a rusty chain is I take it and I put it in a jar of gasoline. Gasoline is great <clears throat> at cleaning up stuff um, and getting rid of rust. I use a cheap like $1 wire brush to then when I pull the chain out to brush off all of the rust and dirt. Um, and it will leave behind a lot of dirt, I'm sure. And then when you're done, uh, you use a bicycle chain lubrication spray uh, to lube up that chain to make sure that it stays clean. You can see on this bike that there's some dirt and things that have get, gotten caught between the gears. So I just like to take a flathead screwdriver and scrape that stuff out to make sure that um, the gears stay clean and I, then I take that wire wheel and I do the same cleaning on the gears that I did on the chain. So you're going to want to check to see that your pedals are tightened properly and to do that you simply grab the pedal and you're going to wiggle back and forth. You shouldn't feel any looseness in there. If you do, uh, this adjustment can be get a little tricky um, but it works the same as it does for your forks. You're going to have a big ring on the outside of this. And that's, this is fun because you may have heard the rule righty tighty lefty loosey. On a bicycle, on the left side of the bicycle, the side without the chain, it's actually reverse threaded. That means it's not righty tighty, it's righty loosey, lefty tighty. <clears throat> and so you'll need to spin that little, uh, the the uh, locking or that ring not locking but that ring to the left and then lock the um, lock it in place you may need to do a little bit of extra work so if you find that this is loose that's a good time to call me and we can talk about it so 
The last thing is, I saw that you definitely need that shifter cable, and that shifter cable, when you install it, should have a nice, handsome bend in it, like that. <clears throat> nothing too big, nothing too small, that's about right. So, I could fit a coffee mug inside that loop, and that's about the right size for that loop. When it comes to adjusting your gears, uh, that's another one that we should talk about, but I'm sure there are good videos on YouTube that could walk you through that. So, good things to be looking for. Now, <clears throat> the last thing is checking your tires. And your tires, you can see that these tires are in really good shape. If you see any cracking on the sidewalls, um, you want to replace your tires. If you see they don't hold air, you need to replace your inner tubes. So check your tires for cracking. Check your inner tubes to see if they hold air. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else just off the top of my head that I would be looking for. I don't think so. So I'll send your mom a list of common parts and then tools or special things to keep in mind when you're using tools on a bicycle so that you can get that job done. Whoop, sliding away. So there are a couple of special bicycle uh, uh, tools that may be handy to have for a job like this. Um, and I will let her know what those are. There's also some special things like I mentioned the, uh, the bike lube and the bike the chain spray. Those are good things to, to keep around as well. I hope that this has been helpful and the um, more than anything, hope you get that bike on the road very soon. You have a summer full of fun and riding. All right, take care, y'all.